All right guys, so after I saw some interest in the wood the other day, I figured I'd give you guys a quick demonstration of cutting the wood with the Grandberg Alaskan Sawmill. Just a quick little overview of what I'm gonna be using. This is the, I think the cheaper model of the Grandberg Alaskan Sawmill. I have it set to cut, I think an inch and a half. Maybe, maybe a little bit more, a little less. Uh, this total contraption with the saw weighs about 45 pounds, so it's not necessarily a light uh, uh, device to use, but it's not necessarily super heavy. Uh, what's running it is a Husqvarna 455 Rancher. This saw is, I want to say, 27 years old. It's doing good. I'm running a 3 8 inch Oregon ripping chain. Seems to be a little bit loose. I might have to tighten that up before we get started. Uh, 3 8 inch ripping chain. It's not a cross cut chain. So you can see the teeth on it are straight. And I would say it's about medium sharpness. It's, had, it's cut a few boards already. This is a 20 inch bar. Oregon. The Oregon bar. It's an Oregon bar and an Oregon chain. And that is 56 cc's I believe. Yeah, 56 cc's made in Sweden. 455 rancher it handles it pretty well i mean certainly you could always ask for more power but it does it does do it fine honestly milling wood like this you'll see this type of wood it's oak is really really hard on a saw i can get through about one and a half boards before i have to fill up the oil in the gas so it, it does eat through the fuel it is super uh, strato charged which is the supercharged version of a two-stroke essentially keeps it uh it gives it fresh air more often essentially cleans it out the cylinder but uh moving on safety wise what i'm gonna be wearing i got my husqvarna chaps on any chaps will help you it will do fine don't have to be husqvarna i'm gonna be wearing my hat uh my hard hat here mainly for the earmuffs and this little screen but uh it comes with the benefit of being on a hard hat as well not like i'm gonna get hit with anything heavy coming out of the sky but uh, the earmuffs are nice since you're going to be, you're literally standing right next to the saw. So that's it, you guys. I'm going to go ahead and get the saw started, warmed up here. It usually starts in within two or three pulls, but, and I'll get back to you guys when you, I can set you guys up somewhere and you guys can watch me mill this piece out. All right, you guys, like I just mentioned earlier, this contraption does weigh about 45 pounds, maybe a little bit more. And it is very, very hard on a saw because it's got to run full throttle the entire time all the way through the log. And it, that can take anywhere between 8 to 15 minutes, I guess. It, it, it depends on the log and the distance you got to go. But yeah, uh, I'll show you guys a little demonstration real quick. Very easy. This adjusts the depth you want to go. And you pretty much got to go for it. Uh, the exhaust does blow back in your face quite a bit. And it is quite dusty, especially since I have this other board here that kicks it all back at you. But you'll see, this is a good demonstration of you guys for the Husqvarna 455, and uh, hope you guys like it.
it guys so that is one cut so you guys can see it makes a lot of chips that gives you an idea of actually how much it's cutting a lot and let me go get a brim Well, I don't really see a broom in easy, convenient reach. But we'll flip this over so you can see the wood. Shut this off. Alright, so maybe now you guys can hear me better. So here's the wood that we just cut. It's a uh, solid oak. So pretty much in, when you're when I'm done with this, I'll put it up to dry. I'll show you guys my other ones. Sorry if my hands are shaky. Running that saw makes you a little shaky. Got a whole bunch of boards over there that have dried up. But pretty much what you'll end up doing is you'll be cutting off the edges with a table saw or something along that lines that can shore it up. And the reason I make it one and a half inch is so I can run it through a, uh, what is it called? A planer and smooth it out and bring it down to the proper size. Cause this wood is, it will bow and flex a little bit as it dries. So you wanna um, leave a little bit of room so you can make it different sizes a little bit later. But you can see there's the next board coming up. It's really pretty wood, oak. So, um, this tree is ancient. There you can see the size of tree it came out of. But uh, if that's not a good testament for that Husqvarna 455 rancher, this thing just keeps doing those logs one after another. It's, it actually has to do all these logs eventually, but. I mean, this saw is a beast, you guys. And doing that like that, it pretty, you can pretty much get through about one and a half of those um, on a tank of fuel. And uh, right now I'm running ethanol free. And I think it's Husqvarna oil I have in there right now. But uh, I tell you what, if you don't have a ripping chain, the ripping chain makes all the difference in how easy it is. Um, cutting if like if you don't have a ripping chain it kind of feels like you're just cutting into concrete and you're not getting anywhere but uh, the, the ripping chain significantly makes it significantly easier to cut and uh, yeah so that's about a 55 60 cc saw and that, I guess uh, it, it mills it pretty good I'm not sure how I would imagine a larger cc saw would make it go a lot faster but I'm um, dealing with what I have and I think that saw is plenty good for doing this uh, I'm not a, a I'm not gonna go into brands too much but uh, this is all did good it's already cut up a whole bunch of these things boards here and I don't think I made that one oh yeah it seems pretty uniform across the length on how thick it is it looks a little thinner over there because it bows down but it's pretty uniform piece of wood what at one and a half inch and my uh, chain was about, uh, I would say, medium sharpness, if you will. Yeah, you can see tons of sawdust. Just to cut that one board. And it, it, you're, you're ripping the board, you're not cutting it across. I, if you, you use this, um, obviously it'd go a lot quicker, you know, if you're cutting it this way with a cross cut chain you're cutting it lengthwise it's it's hard to think about that and why it takes so much longer but it does it takes a long time that saw definitely does a good job if you guys like this video check it out if you have any comments questions concerns or want to know anything about what's in this video drop it down below let me know what you think if you want more of these videos let me know but yeah there's uh using the grandberg Alaska, alaskan grandberg sawmill to cut a piece of oak with a husqvarna 455 rancher 
All right, thanks for watching. Comment, rate, and subscribe.